Hey guys! For those of you who've been to the Dynamics Post before, welcome back. For those of you that are new to the Dynamics Post, I'm Scott Gaines and every week I post a new video with some new Dynamics 365 content. So if this type of content interests you, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell below to be notified when I upload a new video. And like I said, I do, do upload a new video every Tuesday, so feel free to look for that on Tuesdays. So this week what we're going to do, we're going to talk about a newer feature, which is changing the work pool on the work. Actually, you could do this before, but uh, you weren't able to do this in bulk before. So let's take a look at that when we come right back. So what we're going to take a look at today is changing the work pool ID on, on the work records. So you used to be able to only change it one at a time. There's a new feature that's been added, and we'll take a look at that here in a minute, that allows you to do this in bulk. So anytime you're using work pools, what you're doing is you're just trying to group um, work together for a user. So work, a user can sign into an individual work pool and do all the work in that pool. It's used commonly in zone picking. I'll link the zone picking video here with us where I demonstrated the work pool. But it's, it can be used really for any type of grouping of work. So let's hop into D365 and take a look and see how you can uh, change the work pool on a work ID. All right, so here's the uh, feature description for Microsoft here. I'll put a link in the uh, video description below. Um, so it's called a change work pool on work. Uh, public preview was August 2nd and then general availability was uh, December 2019. Um, so what this introduces is a button um, in the uh, work screen that, that allows us to change the work pool on multiple orders. OK, um, so I did have to enable this through um, feature management uh, to get it to show up. Uh, so if it's not showing in your environment, you probably have to do uh, enable it there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So if I go under, uh, we're going to go to warehouse management. And where we want to go is work details. A lot of times you'll see me I'll go into all work. But in this case, you want to go to the work details screen. It's uh, similar to the all work screen, but it's got a kind of a split view where you have the um, whatever you have highlighted above shows you the details below. Now, Previously, and if somebody correct me if I'm wrong here, I, I've always been able to come in here and, and, and manually edit the work pool. So I could go and you know, change the work pool uh, right there and save it. And um, so I don't think that's new, that part. What is new is if I wanted to do multiples, you know, you know if, imagine if you've got 100 work, uh, work records that you need to update, you know, going through manually hitting every one of those. So what you can do now, I'll check these three right there and under the work tab here there's a new option called change work pool so I'll click on that and I'll just choose web shop on this one and then hit OK and what that'll do is that'll process and we'll see that that's completed now all three of those are set to web shop uh, you can also do the reverse if I wanted to clear that uh, work pool I would just highlight them go to work and then change work pool. And I just, all I want to do is just clear out the work pools. Click that and say OK. And now they're all back to normal or back to the way they were. So as you can see, changing the work pool on a work ID is pretty simple. That new button there that allows you to change them in mass is, is really handy if you're using work pools. I actually did a modification before to create that functionality. It's great that uh, Microsoft has added that. I guess a lot of people were doing that functionality, so they, uh, they added that into the product. So anytime you're using work pools, it's very handy to be able to change them in mass. Okay? So I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or a like it. That helps the distribution of the video, helps more people see it. And again, you know, I upload a new video every Tuesday. Please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I upload a new video. Okay? So until next time, thanks for watching.